Hello everyone, Eric Alström, President for Danfoss Power Solutions here, working from home, of course, given the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, very exciting uh, to be with you via video on quite a milestone in the history of Danfoss Power Solutions. Now that we are ready to uh, announce our portfolio expansion with digital displacement technology, the time is right to bring it in front of you, our, our customers, and share our excitement with you. Um, this is uh, not just a personal dream of my own, but something that we have been working hard on as a company for quite some time now to bring to market. It's a true differentiator in the market for you, our partners, our customers, but also, of course, for Danfoss Power Solutions. This gives us an opportunity to serve markets that we haven't served in the past in a, in a new way and, of course, with an entirely new uh, technology. We spent a lot of effort, a lot of time to make this come to fruition. And I, I can uh, only share uh, my excitement, but it's all around in Danfoss that we have a chance to share it with you, our customers and partners uh, today. So um, looking forward to working together with, with all of you on this new exciting technology and hope to be able to see you all in person in the near future. And until then, please stay safe. Thank you. My name is Eric Bredy. I am the director for the Digital Displacement Program. I'm normally based in Edinburgh, Scotland, but today I'm coming from you, coming to you from the United States, and I'm really pleased to be able to take this time to have the opportunity to share everything we're going to present to you today. Along with me, I have a very capable and uh, team. Today, I'll be presenting first the 2021 Digital Displacement Portfolio that we'll be sharing. Then we'll have some breakout sessions with some experts. And then after that, Neil Caldwell, who's in charge of our research and development efforts for digital displacement, will share with you the future of digital hydraulics. Now, about the breakout sessions. We've got six experts from our team today who are very qualified to share with you on those topics that you signed up for in the sessions. I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce them now. First of all, we have Alistair Robertson, our product manager. He's going to be leading the industrial session. Next, we have Luke Wadsley, who's our director of solutions and technology. He's going to be leading many of you through the construction segment. Philip Herman will be, will be taking most of you through the electrification session. It's a very exciting session. We're really, we're really excited to share that one with you. Alexi Dole, our manager for systems. We'll be taking many of you through the work function and propel session so you can learn more about that functionality with digital displacement. Lee Malum, our business development manager in the Americas, will be leading the distribution session. And finally, Craig Grant, our sales development manager for Europe, will be leading many of you through the mining session. Now, in addition to this great team we've assembled to spend this time with you together today, we have a global team that I'd like to point out and share a little bit with you so that you understand when you have questions, where you can go and how you can get them answered. Now, first of all, the first resource you should look to should be your account manager or your SAE with initial questions about digital displacement. But we also have a global team standing ready to help you. Most of our team is located in Edinburgh, Scotland. That's where most of our development happens product development, system development, and all the functions that, that go along with supporting the business. And we also have a great team in the US in Ames, Iowa, dedicated to applying the digital displacement product in your applications. Now, that team also works with the local application development center there. And I'd like to take a minute to also point out what our activities have been in digital displacement at our application development centers. In Ames at the ADC there, we have a state-of-the-art 20-ton hydraulic excavator outfitted with a digital displacement tandem pump that has been showing the benefits of digital displacement in that application for quite a while now. As our customers, we invite you to come to the Application Development Center, see the machine, see digital displacement, and see all the benefits that it brings to that application, and think about how it can bring some of those same benefits to your application as well. At our ADC in Norborg, Denmark, we currently don't have a machine yet, but we're working on placing one there so that our team there can also show you firsthand, up close and personal, the benefits of digital displacement uh, on a machine that we'll be placing there in 2021. And I'd also like to mention that our application development center in China at Haiyan 
also has a team of experts who can take your questions. And if they can't answer those questions, they can direct you to someone who can. The local integrated solutions team and the local sales team there are fantastic. And they're working right now on applying digital displacement in the excavator market in that region of the world. So taken all together, these are some of the resources along with your account manager and SAE who can help direct you to find your answers to questions about digital displacement. So now I'd like to talk a little bit about how digital displacement fits into the portfolio of products from Danfoss Power Solutions. Of course, digital displacement pumps will be plus one compatible. And we'll talk a little bit more about plus one compatibility in some of the breakout sessions. And I'll mention it a bit more too, as we talk about the portfolio. But rest assured, we'll have a plus one compatible service tool, as well as plus one compliance blocks, making it easy to apply digital displacement in your application. Now, digital displacement, as it's currently coming to market, is coming as a very capable, very efficient, very productive, high power open circuit pump. What you'll learn later on in this session when Neil Caldwell talks is that it will be capable in the future of much more than that. But for now, it brings some radically new and exciting capabilities to the world of high power open circuit pumps. And it fits very well with the current portfolio of products that we have. You know, product, products in the portfolio from Power Solutions include things like electrification products, steering, controllers, controls, and valves. Digital displacement works great as on its own in applications, but it works even better as part of a system. And one of the things we've found as we've been applying digital displacement over the past few months is that when you combine it together with some of the world leading products we have, such as ICS cartridge valves and H1 Ben Axis motors, we can put together systems that far exceed the expectations you have for performance, efficiency, and productivity in digital displacement. We're excited to be adding digital displacement to the portfolio of products. And we're excited to be sharing this with you, not only for the 2021, 2021, but also in the future as we expand the portfolio to larger pumps with other capabilities. So now let's talk a little bit about what's available in the portfolio. If you've not yet seen one, this is a digital displacement pump. In this case, a 96cc pump. And let's talk a little bit about what makes it special. First of all, it's innovative. It's a digitally controlled software configurable pump. In this case, 96 cc's per revolution. Some of the things that make it especially innovative are the fact that you can have anywhere from one to four outlets. And what makes that even more interesting is that each of those outlets can be controlled independently with independent flows, independent pressures, even independent control modes, all simultaneously. And the pump is fully sensorized already, so it's fully ready to go for IoT and connected solution applications in your machine or installation. Now the pump is very, very productive, and it enables that productivity because it's very, 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 very fast. The response time from the time you give it an input to the time you start to see a change in the output can be 30, 30 milliseconds. That unlocks machine productivity that most pumps simply can't match. And of course, it's efficient. Efficiency of 94% at the peak, total efficiency is kind of the headline. But for those of you who have applied these in systems, you know that having grid efficiency across the whole operating range is even more important. And that's where digital displacement really shines. From about 25% displacement on up to 100%, you'll see total, total efficiencies from this pump of 90% or greater, which is really, really exciting when you think about the duty cycle that your machine has. And because of the multi-port design, we can deliver flow at the right pressure for the consumer in your machine. Not too much pressure, not too much flow. So we're providing exactly what you need, thus enabling even higher system efficiencies than what can be done with standard pumps today. So the other question we get an awful lot about this product is, I see it has a controller. Can that controller be replaced with our own ECU? The quick answer there is no. What happens on that controller is where a lot of the magic and a lot of what makes digital displacement special and a very, very capable happens. The proprietary software and the proprietary hardware on that controller control what happens in each of those 12 cylinders. Every few milliseconds, we're evaluating what's happening in the pump, what the input commands are, what the output needs to be, making calculations and then making changes in what happens in the pump. So the pump and controller are 
always together. They are unable to be separated, but they can be controlled by your ECU or they can be controlled by a plus one microcontroller. The benefits that we've talked about then have been proven in many applications. And these are some of the applications that we'd like to share with you today. First of all, in the industrial market, which is a market that we are going after with digital displacement, hydraulic power units that have employed digital displacement pumps in them have seen 25% lower electrical energy consumption. Now in the industrial market, this is really exciting for us because such a radical reduction in energy consumption means we can reduce emissions that are caused by those consumers. And emissions are all about keeping not just harmful VOCs and NOx and other things down coming from power plants, but also reducing carbon emissions. And this is a central part of what Danfoss really wants to do. We want to provide products that help make the environment better and help us live up to our commitment to be a good steward of our resources. If you take a look to the right, you'll see we've also had great results with forklift trucks. In fact, with customers, with customer data, customer data acquisition, we have seen fuel consumption reductions of 40% or greater in four ton and larger forklift trucks. This reduction in fuel consumption means a much lower uh, operating cost, and we've sacrificed absolutely no productivity at all. In fact, in some cases, you can actually really do an engine downsizing when you've got uh, results like that. Taking a look next at hydraulic excavators, another market that we are going after quite aggressively with digital displacement, you can see that we have achieved already in the field 32% lower fuel consumption in internal combustion engine hydraulic excavators. Depending on how much work you want to do on your system, you can achieve results like that or maybe even greater in the future. Neil again will talk about that later on in the session. And finally, electrification, especially with our other uh, division in power solutions, Editron. We have in Scotland been demonstrating, along with Editron products and digital displacement products, system efficiencies converting electrical power from batteries to hydraulic power at the output of 87%. Now we're very excited about this. When we originally started, some people asked, is digital displacement going to compete with electrification? We, and, we said, actually, we believe when you put them together, they enable electrification. We believe that Danfoss has the only end-to-end -end solution for, compete, for taking electrical energy and converting it into hydraulic energy with this kind of efficiency. We're very excited about bringing this to market, and we want to see applications with all of our customers interested in electrification where we can put these two great products together and give you fantastic results. So, Let's talk a little bit about the portfolio. Today, we have what's available, uh, what we call DDP 096 Generation 1. Now, this has been released in 2020. It's a single outlet open circuit pump with PC control. We call it a medium duty pump right now, and it's great for industrial applications, and it's great for some mobile applications. And you can see here, it's a single outlet pump along with the controller. It is currently available in production volumes. And if you uh, are interested in that, please talk to your account manager or your SAE and they can get you started. Next, let's talk about what's coming in 2021. Coming in mid 2021 will be the next generation of the DDP 096. What's exciting about this release is we will begin to release the multiple outlet variants of digital displacement. So in mid 2021, we will have the single outlet as well as a three outlet variant of the pump available. And we'll be start to, starting to release more control modes. Uh, displacement control will be standard along with the currently available pressure control. And again, at the individual outlets, you will be able to have different control modes, different pressures, different flows all simultaneously. Now this pump has been designed for more aggressive duty cycles up to 420 bar in very aggressive off-road or very aggressive industrial applications. Currently, one and three outlet prototypes are available of this now. And there actually are quite a few of these prototypes running around in various uh, customer pre-production and evaluation projects. Production volumes of the Gen 2 hardware will be available in the second half of 2021. And finally in 2021, 
I'd also like to share with you that we will be releasing a tandem version of the pump. Now, in this case, it's two 96cc pumps put together. And what's exciting about this is you'll have even more outlets available to be able to supply the various consumers in your application with just the right flow, just the right pressure, um, tailored to whatever the need is there. Two to six outlets are available depending on how you put together the two different pumps into a tandem. And as before, multiple control modes will be available simultaneously. Now, the tandem is better for machines that have higher flow requirements. We've been applying the tandem up to, mach to machines in up to about 20 tons of weight. Prototypes of tandems are available now. And again, we have quite a few prototypes out in the field proving the benefits of digital displacement in those applications. So when you sum it all up, here's the high level. We have a pump available now in 2020, the medium duty pump. And coming in 2021, we have a single outlet, a three outlet, and a tandem version with a Gen 2. Prototypes of all of these are available now, and all of these products will come with all the things you would expect from a Danfoss product. High reliability, high quality, high availability, and plus one compatibility with a full suite of technical documentation at, uh, that you can use to take a look for yourself, share with your customers, and get better acquainted with what digital displacement can do. Now, coming up next, we will have some breakout sessions. The breakout sessions will be led by the six gentlemen I introduced to you before, Alistair, Luke, Philip, Alexi, Lee, and Craig. Each of them are experts in digital displacement. They'll be great presenters. They'll be great at leading you through those topics. And if you have any questions, you may be able to slip some in during the breakout sessions. But if you're not able to, we will have a question and answer session at the end of the day. After the breakouts will be Dr. Neil Caldwell talking about the future of digital displacement hydraulics. So for now, we will send you off to the, the, the uh, breakout sessions, and those will start in about five minutes. If you have any questions, save them up for the Q&A, and we'll look forward to taking them down. Thanks.